start to place the weight in your feet. We don't want to be on the outside. We don't want to be in the middle. We want to be towards the inside of our foot. So if I took my shoe and I look down, I want to be like two fingers with roughly from the big toe, toe joint, ball, ball of your foot, big toe, all the way through your toe. That's where you want to distribute your weight in that inside part of the foot. So standing feet just slightly turned out, your own natural turnout. Just let the body weight roll to the inside. And just feel what that feels like to go back and forth. Feel what that feels like now to let your foot roll all the way through, all the way to your toenail, not just to the top of the ball, to the toenail. And feel what that feels like, not just in your feet, but in your ankles. That's actually what's moving your feet. Your ankles are what's are articulating so that you can actually have foot movement. You can flex and point your feet, your toes all day long, but it's really your ankle. Your ankle is what is really moving you or moving your feet. So, Pressing through, see what that feels like on the floor. It's kind of just to warm up and feel your weight and the inside edge. You can take this also side to side and go from, again, primarily the big toe, that, that joint there is your big toe, pressing through, and then feel what it feels like to press all the way through to the toe. Release it back down and just roll it back to the floor, feeling what the floor feels like in each step, even with the heels down, like you do in a cucaracha, still keeping the weight to the inside part of the foot. So if we do this in a walk, feet again just slightly turned out. I'm going to focus on letting my ankles graze each other. Not my feet passing through, but my ankles. So if I'm going here, again, I'm starting with just a walk. I'm going to let my ankles grazing through with my big toe, again, and big toe joint. I go through, extend, and as I step forward, not just going to step parallel, I'm going to continue to keep pressing with that inside part of the foot. So you can say that as my heel is pressing slightly forward, so it'll appear slightly turned out. Roll through the back foot, ball, big toe ball of the uh, joint of the foot. So not to the outside, to the inside. And then as you go up, let that continue all the way through. If you're a girl, you can even take this for the ladies, more of that rotation to, take, to finish it. Or you can just take it straight through. That's, that's just as correct as well. Passing through, grazing the ankles, extend through the toe, placing the foot, again, letting that heel lead and guide you forward all the way through, release with the rotation of the toe, to the toe, dragging it through, and repeating on the other side again. So if you'll notice, we've been told everything's in two tracks. Even though I want you to think of doing one foot in front of the other in one track, because, if, because, because we're doing it with a slight turnout, if I had my feet parallel, they're still going to be in two tracks. So with that slight turn on, it just helps to keep me balanced and to anchor through my thighs and all the way through my hips. So again, this is what it looks like from the front. Graze through, pass through at the ankles. Brush through with the toe. Let that heel drive forward and roll all the way through your um, working leg. So this would be our standing leg, supporting leg, traveling leg taking it all the way through. So just focusing on feet, you can see this lots of stuff starts to happen with your hips without even necessarily worrying about the hips, so focusing on the feet there. Can you do some walks, some okay. walks walk sideways? Quick. Yes, just a couple. Okay, so if we're walking through. Perfect. Perfect.